Welcome to the RBI podcast. I'm Katja Fiedler and this is another episode of our podcast series on the principles for responsible banking. RBI signed these principles of the UNEP Finance Initiative at the beginning of this year. I'm now talking to Petr Pollach, Head of Corporate Finance, and Vera Economo from our Sustainable Finance Department about implementing these principles in our corporate customers area. Ms. Economo, how do you implement the principles in your area? We consider sustainable development goals and Paris Climate Agreement in our corporate strategic roadmap and business strategies. We already can score our customers with environment, social and governance factors and help their, uh, their transition towards uh, less environmental, social and governance risks. We also started to assess our portfolios uh, for green, for social and a youth taxonomy standards and we develop methodology for sustainable customers and for sustainable transactions in our BI group ESG rulebook. We also prepared uh, for monitoring and for reporting uh, of our sustainable transactions and sustainable customers to a broader stakeholders. So our focus is to help our customers during their uh, transition period to develop sustainable businesses. For that purpose, we established ESG Customer Advisory Team in our Sustainable Finance Department. We are now well staffed to support our corporate and also institutional clients, advising and inspiring them on their sustainable journey. In order to implement our ESG strategy, we built also our second pillar as part of our Sustainable Finance, ESG Group Competence Center, to support necessary trainings, products rollout, and also to prevent potential risk of so-called greenwashing, which would have a very serious reputation risk for our bank. And what does this mean for our corporate customers? What is the impact of establishing the principles on them? We in RBI, we can support and advise our customers how to increase their positive environmental impact and decrease their negative environmental or social impact. And I'm very proud to be part of this newly established sustainable finance team and advise our customers uh, with the different sustainable finance solutions. We can advise our customers how to improve their ESG ratings, which are important in addition to their sound credit ratings to also show to external customers how do they perform their businesses, which kind of environmental uh, stress strategies they consider in their value creation and which kind of uh, strategies they do within the company to perform much better than their peers. We also advise our customers with the green and social lending projects and we can finance these projects based on the standards which are already available in the market uh, like EU taxonomy, ICMA green bond principles or social bond principles and we can also engage in a dialogue with our customers customers with uh, meaningful KPIs to help them to improve either on environmental or social pillars. And these KPIs will be based on the best market practices and meaningful for their geographical location and sector. I would use one very concrete example for you to understand what might be the impact on our clients. As many other banks, also we have exited from coal financing, so we don't finance coal anymore. So we published our coal policy at the beginning of this year. However, when we say stop coal financing, we help also these clients in their transitions from brown business towards green in order to decrease their carbon footprint. Having said that, we've got more active also on in renewable energy financing, because when we are exiting on one side of the formula, we also want to contribute uh, in the energy development and therefore our big focus now is on uh, renewable. And do you already see first successes? And if yes, could you please share some examples? Yes, so we are very successful, I have to say, and we are well on track. We are meeting on a daily basis our clients with our ESG advisory team. So we're helping them in defining KPIs. We're helping them in their transition journey. And we're also providing them financing solutions on a green or ESG linked products. We are very proud of being the number one bond issuer in our core markets in the league tables, where we are very well ahead of our competitors. 
We also focus on building our green portfolio and ESG compliant portfolio. And as of today, we reached approximately 2 billion of assets and we are targeting to be by year end by 2.5 billion. What is also a very important part of our activities is the training of people. So as of today, we train more than 1,000 people in our network banks via our Green Finance Days concept. Last but not least, we successfully support our network banks and RBI in drafting and preparation of green and social framework for green and social bond issuance. That sounds really good. Maybe as a last question, where is our future focus regarding the sustainable orientation? We see three important groups uh, for our customers' sustainable orientation. The first group is uh, with the carbon intensive sectors uh, where we need to help those customers to align their future business model with net zero carbon emission targets. And this is what is also wished by European Union strategy towards to be the first climate neutral continent by 2050. The second group of customers would be transformative sectors and here we can bring examples of car industry, for example, where combustion engine and fossil fuel use should be completely removed and replaced by electric vehicles or, for example, by renewable energy producers that the future sustainable cities and communities would depend only on renewable energy sources. And the third group of customers would be those who need to enhance their environmental friendly performance. And this would be sectors like circular economy, biodiversity conservation, waste management processes, water reduction and wastewater management, and also uh, green real estate. We all use a lot of electricity in the current housing sector. And this sector is contributing to almost 40% of all green greenhouse gas emissions in Europe and those sectors need a lot of attention and our support to reduce the energy consumption and become more sustainable. And here I would invite everyone to visit our sustainable finance webpage where Peter Polak is our contact person and discover more details of what RBI can offer in terms of ESG advisory and sustainable finance solutions. Thank you very much for sharing these insights. I hope our listeners liked it too and will join us for our next podcast again. Thank you very much for listening. That was an RBI podcast. Thanks for listening. Until next time. <laughs>